Hello everybody, Andrea Maeski here with Dental L Tutoring. So this is kind of like a part two to a video that I had just done, but there's going to be more parts here where I'm just I'm I'm just talking about crazy things that patients do and say and how I react inside my head and what I actually say to them. Okay. So sorry, I thought I heard the mailman here. Um so listen, oh, is it actually nicer to keep the, the window open? Kind of, eh? Or is that too much light? Maybe it's too much light. Okay, sorry guys. Um, okay, so this actually happened to me. So you guys probably don't know, I don't know if I've talked about it, but I have something called uh, psoriasis, okay? So it's, it's a skin condition where the cells are just overproducing, and if you have that too, it's similar to um, eczema. So if you guys have seen that, in fact I have it on my elbow here, um, which might be kind of hard to see from all of the lights. But it's, it's, it's like red, white patches, okay? Honestly, no big deal to me. Hey, things could be so much worse. But anyways, so, but sometimes it does get a little bit bad where it's more obvious. Like I do have it on the backs here, but sometimes it can kind of like creep up here, okay? Um, thankfully, that's it. Like I might have a little bit here sometimes, but I can cover that up usually with um, um, makeup. But sometimes it's just a little bit more um, obvious. So I had a patient once, okay? He was in his 60s, um, a nice man. You know, you wouldn't really think anything of it, but he really wasn't that nice. Okay, this patient actually came in. Um, I'm bringing him back. This was at an older office where I used to work, so I don't work there anymore. They had weird patients, but anyways. So he comes in, I'm you know, saying you're, you're in for a cleaning today, any changes in your health, any tooth issues, you know, so just kind of talking to the patient. And he says to me, and he looks at me like, whoa, what happened here? Because I did have uh, psoriasis like here that day, which again, I think I'm just used to it, so I don't really even um, realize sometimes how it looks to people, because I just think, hey, whatever, things could be so much worse. He goes, oh, what happened here? You know, I thought he was concerned, like maybe he thought I had a rash or something. I go, oh, um, that's just a little, and at first, like I wasn't sure, um, I was like, oh, what happened? Oh, that, um, I said, well, that's just um, a rash that I have, it's a skin condition. Um, that I have and you know being a healthcare professional I didn't think that sounded bad but maybe it did to him and because he goes oh my god you have a skin condition and I said oh wait sorry no well I do but it's not contagious it's just something that some people have um, you might know it as um, as eczema you know that's how it looks um, because usually when I say the word psoriasis people go psoriasis what huh like they have no clue, right? So I say eczema. It's just something that people seem to understand more. Um, it's, it's no big deal. But anyways, he goes, oh my God, is it contagious? That's seriously how he looked at me, you guys, was. And like he backed up a little bit. I said, and I laughed actually and said, no, it's not contagious. If it was contagious, I wouldn't be allowed to work here. I'm a healthcare professional duh that's what I'm thinking he goes oh oh okay and like he looked concerned you know like I kind of felt bad for the guy like are you that stupid <laughs> seriously so I said to him I I said well if you if you're concerned I don't I don't want to make you uncomfortable like, I would be happy to rebook your appointment I'm the only hygienist here today so I can't just give you to somebody else but I'd be happy to rebook in fact I didn't want to see him he was like, well, I can't rebook. I'm here now. And I said to him, like, well, you look really concerned. How about we rebook um, so I don't make you uncomfortable? And I made notes, by the way, in the chart saying, like, to rebook. And then I gave him the option because wait till what happens next. So he was, he seemed fine, you know, throughout the appointment, you know, a little concerned. But, you know, he didn't say anything else, right? He actually called back a couple days later. He called back a couple days later, talked to the receptionist and said, that last hygienist that I saw, she gave me an infection. I was in the hospital and had to go on antibiotics because of what she had. That's seriously what he said. I was so insulted when I heard that. I don't even remember who told me this actually. 
Um, oh, I do remember. I didn't find out about it until his next cleaning appointment when the other hygienist who worked there, she's so nice, we talked a lot. She actually saw him because I wasn't there that, that day and, and she had noticed notes in the chart from that phone call. And she sent, sent me a text saying, you won't believe what happened. And I, cut, and I was actually quite pissed off that nobody told me, that the receptionist, that my boss didn't tell me. But also maybe they didn't tell me because they didn't want me to feel bad knowing how pissed off that I would be. Like, how stupid can you be? But So maybe that's why. But in the chart, in the notes, it didn't actually say anything about, you know, how they told him. Um, it's, nothing's contagious. If the if the hygienist was contagious, she wouldn't have seen you. So in the notes, it didn't say that. I don't know what the conversation was, but you'd think if they said that to him, it would have been in the notes. All the notes said is what he said. So I don't know how the conversation went. And when I tried to talk to them about it, they couldn't remember. And I kind of, so anyways, that seriously happened, you guys. I wish I was still working there and that I did have them in my schedule and then I could have said to him, oh, I'm that same hygienist that you said you got an infection from. I can't see you today. I wish that happened because that would have meant that I would have had an hour opening and I would have pissed him off. So that would have been great, but I don't work there anymore. Isn't that crazy, you guys? So that actually happened. Where do people get the nerve, seriously, to say things like that? So be careful. If you're ever having a bad hair day, if you have a skin condition, if you don't look totally normal, your patient might say something to you and say you have an infection. <laughs> Who knows? Yeah, that seriously happened. Okay, let me think of something else to quickly end off this video with. Let me think of some weird things that patients have kind of said. Uh, there's been a lot of weird things. Oh, let me think. Okay, this is a good one. I had a patient the other day, um, 17, 18. You could tell he was full of himself. Like he just kind of stood there the way he talked. He thinks he knows everything, right? So I would say things to him, you know, because as I clean teeth, I do talk at the same time. So I would say something like, oh, there's a lot more plaque on your left hand side here. So that's showing me you're, you're not brushing as thoroughly on that side. Well, you know, so I say things like that or, oh, the gums are, are bleeding a lot more actually on the front teeth here and they weren't before. Um, so take your toothbrush, you know, and, and to get in there a little bit more, you know, so I say things like that. Well, this kid, okay, and I call him a kid because he looked like a kid, you know, 17, 18. Um, he kept saying things like, um, how do you know I have more plaque compared to last time? How do you know that? I kind of looked at him like, well, I was looking at your notes from last time and that's what it says. Yeah, but you didn't see me last time. I saw somebody else. Duh, you know. Um, I said to him, well, as I just said, I was looking in the notes. We, we take detailed notes every single time about how much plaque you have, stain, tartar, you know, things like, like that. Oh, okay. Um, okay. Um, and then, you know, and then he said, plaque. You keep talking about plaque. What is plaque? I'm thinking, you know, I don't mind people asking stupid questions and I'm nice to them. But when you ask like that, like, okay, okay, you keep talking about plaque. What is, what is plaque? You know, when people say things like, um, what's plaque again? You know, that I don't mind answering because they're not experts, right? It's not something we, we talk about every single day. We, we do because we're dental professionals. But, you know, teenagers, adults, kids don't just talk about plaque, right? But he was being rude. So he's so that's what he said. He said, so what's plaque? So I talked about it. You know, plaque is that stuff that forms um, on the teeth pretty much right away. Like eating, drinking, it could be yellow, it could be white. You know, it just depends too on the food that you're eating. Um, and if it's left on the teeth too long, then it, then it forms tartar. He, go, he goes, tartar what? Oh my God, kid. Oh my God. So I said, well, tartar is that hard stuff that I'm taking off your teeth now um, because your toothbrush can't take that off, you know? 
again, I don't mind explaining, but when you react like that and have that attitude, I'm thinking, who the heck are you, right? You're such a moron. That's what I want to say. Seriously. Only patients knew what we want to say to them. Um, so yeah, this was the conversation. But the kicker was, which I forgot to mention, sorry, um, all in his chart, like on the computer, in the paper chart, it says, do not use uh piezo or like i think it says do not use the water instrument you know something right so i'm like okay this kid doesn't want us to use the water instrument when i sat him down he pretty much said uh yeah hi don't use that thing that sprays water you know and like he's not looking at me he's just like yeah don't use that thing that sprays water please you know so i'm thinking he's just nervous so i'm i'm i am okay with that so I said to him, oh, okay, you know what? That's no problem. Um, I can just use um, my hand instruments. Fine. You know what? Fine. People are weird, but that's okay. Um, but he had a lot of tartar and stain lower anterior lingual. So I actually said to him um, about halfway through, I said, um, is it okay if I use the water instrument only on the bottom teeth? Because there's a lot of plaque there. There's a lot of tartar. And I think that's how we... we started talking about plaque and tartar because he didn't know. Um, you know, and with my hand instruments, I think it's going to make you more sore because I do have to pull and push. But with the water one, like I can just quickly do it and that's it. And then he says to me, what? What water thing? I'm kind of like, did he not hear me? So I, I said, the water instrument that you don't like, is it okay if, if I use that just a little bit? And he said to me, how do you know I don't like the water instrument? And I'm like, I could have sworn that's what he said at the beginning. It's all over the charts. So he said that to other people. So I said, um, the piezo, the water instrument that we have here, um, that you mentioned at the beginning that you don't want me to use. He goes, well, why are you telling me this? I'm so confused, you guys. I didn't know how to respond. So I said to him, well, I'm telling you because I'm asking your permission if I could use it on the lower front teeth because you did tell me not to and I respect that, but I need to use it on the bottom. So I'm just asking you if it's okay first. Like, what do you do? So he says to me, oh, yeah, sure. Okay. So I'm using it. He was totally fine, you guys. So I don't know what the heck was in the chart, what he was talking about. He was totally fine. Um, Usually I clean like a tooth first or like three teeth and then say, how is that so far? So I said that like after using the piezo and, and he said, how's what? The water instrument that you don't like. He goes, it's fine. Like, oh my God, it was the weirdest patient appointment ever. Okay. So sorry, that took a little bit longer, but I hope that this is making you laugh. It's actually fun to talk about because these things really happen. So thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for some more. Make sure, make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you.